and welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're back in a World War II bird. We've got the venerable Hurricane Mark II. And we're at uh, Grass, the Grass version of Biggin Hill. Now I'm wondering if this is actually the World War II version or whether it's a totally different place. I've got, to be say, I've got to say I don't really know. But if it is the original Biggin Hill, grass strip then I think we're going to do some uh, building here and make it a little bit more World War II like but let's see if we can take this damn thing off and land it I've had a lot of trouble these things are difficult to get off and get back onto the ground so and I haven't been that successful I've got to say <laughs> but why not let's give it a go um, I haven't I think I have given this one a quick little fly oh last week but I haven't really given it a good fly, so we're going to be very patient. We're going to hold the stick back. We're going to take the brake off. Brakes, BB, brakes, okay. Hopefully my rudders are working fine, looking good. And um, do we have any... Can't see any wind socks, so we'll give it our best. Gonna hold the stick back. I think that'll allow us to get our tail wheel steering initially. And doing all right, I think so far. We'll just let it's about 2,300 RPM, and we're coming up to 80 knots. Coming up to 100 knots. So I'm just going to let that level out. And I think we're away. Well, that wasn't as scary as the Spitfire was by a long shot. That's good. Let's put the gear away. Oh, it does pause when you um, hit the gear. So where are we? Oh, do I just break something? You can't tell me it is that easy to break. Looks like it is. Oh, oh well, we get to take off again. Well, that was pretty hopeless. Doesn't like negative G. Cannot believe that, guys. Really, really. You know, this is a, a World War II fighter that would have been pulling 8 Gs or something. Okay. Brakes off. RPM up. 2,000 RPM will do for a start. 2,400. That'll be alright. Speed's alive. 80 knots. 90 knots, just let that settle, and yeah, don't hold it on the tail for too long. Gear away, and we'll power up some more. Just keep an eye on that boost gauge. That's the red one on the right side there. Don't get too carried away. It's full power. Well, it's very quick up to 200 knots or 200 miles an hour. Okay, let's uh, let's climb. Anybody familiar with the area? We have a river. And what's our altitude? Coming, just coming up to 4,000 feet. 
maintaining 4,000 feet a minute. And our speed is 160 knots. Okay, it's rolling over. Going to get done for negative G in it again. Let's have a bit of a look around. Let's power back a little. Gauge at about four pounds will do for now. It's pretty casual. What have we got down here? We've got houses, a river. I'm guessing the green area here must be the strip because I can see the houses over here on the right. We need to get the crew chief to clean this window. That's pretty terrible. Okay. Well, I think the best thing we can do now is try and land this sucker. Back to 160 miles an hour. I might just get a little bit gentle. It'd come back to about 120. Okay, let's get some gear. Power up a little. Looks like I've broken the flaps. Anyway, I'll tear something off, maybe. Maybe it wants to roll right. We're settling in too early. More power, more power. bounces. Oh, we made it. Not too bad. A little bit of right rudder. A little bit of brake. Not too much. The Hurricane's got a bit wider landing track, so it's a bit more forgiving than the Spitfire, it seems. over there, we'll avoid those. Okay, so we've got up, we've got down, reasonably. Let's go see what else this thing can do. Alright, let's got everything up, flaps away. Better see if we, how broken we are. Uh, well, we still got flaps down. Guns work? That's another good one. No, that's not guns. Lights. Starter booster coil. Reflector sight. Does that work? Appears not too. We've got some trims and things, prop controls. Ah, oh, what did I do? Let's hit the starter again. There we go. Right, let's go again. Okay, let's get it up to 2400. Right rudder. A little, not too much. Put the back stick. 
60 knots. 80 knots, just going to relieve the pressure. And it's flying off. Let's get some power. And here away. Oh, the flaps are up. Flaps are out again. Put those away. Okay. Let's get some speed. It's fairly convenient the um just the parts here of reflector reflector sides on the horizon give you about level flight. So we've got full power, full boost, two hundred and forty. 260, 280, so let's see if we can do a loop, we're still a little bit close to the ground but hey, it's a fighter, it should be able to do it, so let's pull back, look over the top, yeah you did that okay, that's fine, and a uh, roll, Roll back. Okay. That's good. Let's get a bit of height. See if we can spin this spin this fella. See what he does. Now, I would imagine these are fairly simple flight models, so they may not do very much. The damage model seems a little bit on the uh, gentle side. Having crashed that first in that first part of the flight. But they're a bit of fun. I don't know if you turn on combat, because I'm not sure if you're aware guys, but you can turn on a combat mode within uh, X-Plane, and, uh, and then you can, you'll find missiles being fired at you as you take off in your Cessna, or your Diamond, or whatever it might be. You're a bit hard to avoid them in your 737, I think. But you can do it. So if you have some mates, you might be download uh, the Spitfire as well. The Spitfire is a nice one. If you haven't seen it okay let's uh let's try we'll head up and we'll see whether we can spin this guy at least do a stall turn there we go we're holding it holding holding it holding it left rudder full back stick what's it do oh it's just oh, there we go it took a little bit to get going okay and Right rudder, just to correct it. Nose is down. <laughs> hey, that wasn't too bad. It started to just hang there like a leaf for a moment. The Spitfire did that as well. Let's get the boost up. Let's try it from a level attitude. We'll just stall them, then we'll keep the back stick in and we'll kick the rudders and see if she still goes. Let's see if she goes right any differently. Some aircraft are like that. I believe the Messerschmitt, maybe. This is Messerschmitt or the um, or the Focke-Wulf. Couldn't. Oh no, Zero. The Zero couldn't turn right very well. Apparently, it could turn left just fine. So fighter pilots wanted to get away from one, but throw themselves into a steep right turn, and the uh, and the Zero couldn't follow. Apparently, I was watching uh, an interview with a World War II pilot on uh, YouTube the other day. Interesting, interesting stuff. Okay, we're back to 90 knots, 100 knots. It's starting a little bit. Oh, okay. Let's okay. Kick the rudder in. She's spinning away. Okay, stick forward. Opposite rudder. Not that I needed much. And away we go again. Or well, at least we haven't broken it. We haven't overgeed it. Okay, let's get the power up and let's go put this. This old lady on the ground. Let's see if we can find a runway. Oh, there's a runway. Let's see if we can put it down on that one. There are three different boss... Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking boss come down now. A big and hill. Strips, apparently, according to 
X-Plane 11. I'm going to fly it here and just fly left. Uh, fly right. We'll just fly in. How are we going for speed? We're 140. Gear down. Back trip. Trim. I'll try and see if we can land it accurately enough to put it on the strip. It do se does seem to want to fall out of the sky when you get a little slow. And flaps down. Come on, we'll try and be nice and land on the strip. Do our best. Gonna struggle. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, don't crash on me. Don't crash on me. Oh, God. Yeah, these old fighters are a handful, guys. A lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. Alright, well, I think for today, we, we'll give this a, we'll give this girl a miss. Here she comes. Oh, oh I put the brakes on. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't like that much. Oh, I've bent everything on it. Oh well. Until next time, we'll see you back here for a bit more fun on Let's Fly VFR. You have a really huge day. Catch up with you soon.